see you. This is Mrs. Thorne, President. Mr. Thorne, hello. So happy Good hello. Thank you for inviting us. Yes, sweetheart. Thank you. Nice to see you. Mr. Maoba? Yes, hello. hello. His name is Vladislav. Vladislav. Yes. Vladislav. Let's all come in and sit down here. I know we don't have much time. But, uh, you two take either sides of the couch here and sit with you. Pleasure to welcome you here, and uh, I'm most interested in hearing some of your experiences and things that I haven't been able to vision as to uh, the first great hazard must have been. Uh, how did you make it plain to the <laughs> Mujahideen that <laughs> you were uh, uh, more on their side, and uh, that must have been a great hazard. Как ты мог объяснить Маджагадину, что ты их на истер... то, что ты правда на их стороне? Это было тяжело, но я это взяла очень долгое время, когда значит я. It took some time to convince me of, of the fact that they can believe. И конечно, сначала я работал в госпитале, и мои друзья все мы работали в госпитале. Это Маджагадин. Да, и потом, в общем, они стали нам. Recently, and in San Jose, that the Sandinistas seemed at least to be making some some moves, is because of the pressure imposed by the freedom fighters. And so, I'm going to call on Colin to tell you about our package and what it is we're sending up, and then you know that I'm here. Well, don't anybody throw a long pass because we haven't got 11 of you, we've only got five. <laughs> well, listen, the reason for the invitation, I appreciate very much your all coming down here. It has to do with, as you know, today is the day that we was sent up to the hill the uh, proposal in regard to uh, the freedom fighters in Nicaragua. And uh, they're sending up as I'm going to call on Colin in a few minutes to tell you what the package is and, and all about it. But I did want to 
I didn't want to tell you that I believe that everything we've seen and the encouragement we've been getting from the other four presidents down there, they have had a problem for quite some time with regard to how far they can go in speaking out about what they want uh, down there because, frankly, they're frightened. They know that the Sandinistas have got a bigger military than they all have put together. And the Sandinistas haven't been hesitant about suggesting that they, their ideas might cross borders. But anyway, uh, they themselves feel very definitely that the freedom fighters are the pressure that has made the uh, Sandinistas at least voice some of the concessions that they have already made. And yet they have fallen short <clears throat> in doing that of a really foolproof thing with regard to ceasefire and all. So we think that it is absolutely essential to maintain that pressure uh, on them. The Sandinistas or the freedom fighters now number about 17,000. Proven themselves, and you know the military rule is in fighting guerrillas, which the Sandinistas have to do now uh, with the freedom fighters, is you have to have a superiority of 10 to 1 to be successful. So I don't think they've got 170,000 yet in their military. But I'm going to ask Colin to explain to you what it is we're sending up there, and we'll discuss it a little bit. Thank you, Mr. President. Hi. My Mr. President, I'm so, so honored to be here. It's, it's my pleasure. I wanted to present you several photographs I've taken of uh, things in Washington. One of them is the old executive office building, well, which is a, an, I made into an exhibit poster. Well, it's wonderful. And it is an historic, very famous building, and I think beloved by all of us here. It is. It's uh, most people's favorite building in Washington. I'm glad they didn't tear it down. <laughs> I understand one president. Uh, they set out to do that. Yeah. Howard Baker. His wife he saved it. His wife saved it. Well, that's fabulous. Yeah. Yeah. Howard Baker just saw these and he congratulated him and said he has a good eye. I mean, well, Howard, fellow Howard photographer. photography. Yes, yeah, yeah, sir. I'd like to give you a, a set, a matching set. Of course, as you see, one's the old exec and one's the, uh, the capital. Yeah. Oh, there sure. You go. And then I have one more that, uh, that I think you'll really like. This is a little one of, of the White House at, at Christmas time. Oh. And I'd like to give you that, you could perhaps give that to Mrs. Reagan as a little well, present yes, or something. thank you very much. <laughs> sure. Oh, well, she loved to have that. Yeah. So would I. <laughs> well, thanks. Right. I appreciate thank it. you. Thank yeah, you, Mr. Great. President. Thank you so much, sir, and it's very much an honor. Well, I appreciate that. It's very great. Thank you. Good Just speech, Saturday. I mean, that's a good speech. Thank, thank you. I was thank right you there. Thank you. Thanks, thanks. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. President. Hi, Pete. How are you? Yeah. This is Mr. Steve Morris. He's, the president, of the, My honor. he's well, the president of the National yes. Association of Retired Federal oh. Employees. And he wants to make you. As of right this moment, we are making you and the First Lady members of our association. You now qualify. Well, thank you very much. I'm not urging your retirement. Uh, no, I was going to say that coming years from now, I won't be honorary. Well, I those and uh, 50 cents will probably get you a cup of coffee. <laughs> well, thank you very much. It's our pleasure. And this is your first issue of our monthly magazine, Retirement Life. Yeah, one for you and you. Uh, one for First Lady. And you wanted to tell you about him. He is okay. years in service with us. Treasury agent. He has not been in the White House, but he has served other presidents. He chauffeured Richard Nixon. I was also the special agent in charge of Los Angeles when you were governor. Well, for heaven's sakes. And I sure liked what you were doing out there. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I served on Nixon's detail, and of course, you know the Western White House there. And also, a little bit with uh, <coughs> President Johnson, and uh, once with. Uh, President Eisenhower. Well, we're, we're leaving out shortly. Yeah, okay. <laughs> well, thank you for your time, sir. Well, it's it's been pleasure. Pleasure. Thank you. And I will convey to all the people I represent, which is the federal retirees, that you provided us with this opportunity. And well, welcome please. Please, well, please give my regards to you. Thank you, Mr. President. Okay. See you soon. All right. See you thank later. you, Howard. Uh, thank you. Hi. How are you? Back again with our yes. friends from the AAU. We are celebrating our 100th anniversary. Well, 
Hello there. Hello. Nice to see you. Thank you for having us. Nice to see you. Hello, sir. Nice to see you. Go ahead, Mr. Hello. Nice to see you. I'm Don Page. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Please be chill. Nice to see you. Well, thank you all for coming in and... We came bearing gifts. Well, Since goodness. you're recognizing the AAU, we wanted you to be a life member in our 100th anniversary organization. Well, thank you. And it's kind of nice to belong to something older than I am. How about that? <laughs> and as an honorary member, life member of the AAU, you are allowed to vote for the Sullivan Award. So there is your ballot if you would like to send it in. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> Well, that's wonderful. Shouldn't we make, arrange Just ourselves for a group photo here? Quick, quick. Okay. We also have a hat for you here. Where would you like the hat? In the middle. Oh, great. Can you crunch a little closer to that? Yeah, maybe turn slightly side. That's good. a couple of sweatshirts, one for, uh, these are real good for cutting wood at the ranch. Got one for your wife. This is right. Thank you very much. That's great. Well, thank you. And this one's for Senator Luger. Oh, well, thank you. My goodness. Unexpected. You've got to come to the ranch and cut wood. All right. Well, thank you. You know, I wouldn't want you to find out sometime later and take all of these things back. But I played football at a college in the Little 19 Conference in Illinois. And it was the only conference, I think, in the United States that you could be employed as an assistant coach and still be eligible. I, as a matter of fact, before I got out of school, I was a swimming coach. <laughs> That's the old days of amateurism was pretty strict, pretty strict code. Yeah. It's all loosened up a lot since then, Mr. President. I think, still, I think that company still calls itself the Blue 19, but now it has 23 colleges. You read the college. Next door to Bradley. It was after you were in Dixon. Uh, or my family, my mother, grew up in Dixon. Jack Taldy was her cousin. Yes, that's a familiar name. But uh, he said he used to really she remembered watching you do a radio announcement on the ticker tape. Oh, well, that was in Des Moines when I became Des Moines, a sports right. announcer. That's right. Yeah. Dixon for seven summers. I was a lifeguard. <laughs> Jack's, Jack's son's a test pilot now in California. Well, listen, I appreciate all that you do and all that. I highly respect this organization. Thank you for receiving this. Two years ago, we had your uh, film when you spoke to about 3,000 kids in St. Louis there. Thank you, Michael Cade, for us. Arch in your Olympics. Yes. And I want to thank you for the opportunity of representing you in West Germany and in Italy in 84 on your youth and exchange initiative, which we followed through on and had, had three German exchanges. So it's been quite an opportunity. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for bringing it. And I enjoyed your state of the Union. Thank you. The props were wonderful. We laughed and laughed. It was great. When I dropped that one and then did this, I wasn't happy. I dropped it on my finger. I can understand. Oh, it was wonderful. Thank you. Thank you again, Mr. President. You're doing a wonderful job. Just one to let you know. President Carter in 1900. Now, I was on the order. Couldn't go to Moscow, and that's the year I Oh, well, it's a pleasure to meet you, sir. Always glad to bring you.